friends. Thanks so much for tuning into the video today. I'm excited because I'm doing a braid out on my hair for the very first time. Now, the reason this excites me is because I've never done a braid out, like ever, ever. I've always done twist outs. If you have watched any of my previous videos, I really do like to do a lot of twist outs because they just kind of complement my hair. They look very flattering on my hair. But I'm doing a braid out today and I almost chickened out. <laughs> At the last minute, I almost chickened out, but I stuck with it. In my most recent video, I use the gel that I use for this braid out. I talked about how I was probably going to do a braid out next, so I did not chicken out. Let me show you what I use for this, um, to put these braids in. I use, it's from the main choice and it is the glistening gold twisting gel and I've used it a total of including this style here I've used it a total of four times but before today I used it for a flexi rod set and then I used it twice for a wash and go and yeah I used it for a wash and go even though it clearly states it's a twisting gel and on the jar it says it will enhance your twist outs and braid outs. So I figured I would give it a try. Now I have in nine braids and I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and see what we get. All right, so here is a full 360 view of my hair. At this point, my braids had been in for about two days. And what I did at night is I put my scarf on and then I bought it on top of that just to keep them looking neat until I was ready to take them down. And my hair in the front does not curl on the ends pretty much at all. So that's why I use perm rods. And I really went the extra mile for <laughs> this hairstyle to try to get the best outcome because I was afraid if, if I didn't use perm rods, that my hair would look stringy on the ends and that's not what I was going for. Um, so I can tell you, I noticed right off that these plaits are harder to take down than twists, at least for me they are. And let me back up, I call them plaits because that's what we call them in the South. <laughs> so I don't know, what do you call them? I know many people say braids. Um, Let's do a people poll. This is my first people poll, y'all. So type plait or braid in the comments just so I can get a consensus. And while you're down there leaving your comment, give this video a thumbs up pretty please. I would really appreciate it. So the first plait that I took down uh, looked pretty good. I didn't have any expectations for this braid out. Um, but I can say I was very pleased with what I was seeing so far um, as I started taking them down. The pattern, it's a little different from that of a twist out, but it still looks pretty, pretty similar and I, I do really like it. I know it probably looks like I'm yanking and being really rough taking the, the plaits down, but I'm not. I promise I'm not. I'm too scared to manhandle my hair. <laughs> especially in the back because it's so fragile uh, in my nape area. So I did notice that my hair doesn't have a lot of shine. I'm sure you can see it too, but that's okay. This uh, video is not really focused on the product, but more on just this style um, because this is new for me again. But my hair was still really nice and soft and, and it was coming out really fluffy. Uh, which is what I really liked. I didn't have a lot of hold, but that's again okay because I'm not really focusing on the products here. So even though I don't have a lot of hold, I feel like I can still, you know, get some wear out of the braid out. And my hair is not cotton ball soft though, so I am good with it. But keep watching and please stay till the end and let me know what you think. <laughs> 